have the first experiment in the uh, field of non-constant force. Hooks, so many concepts here uh, behind this one. This is, this is, let's say, what we call the equilibrium point. This is the equilibrium point, and now my uh, spring is balanced. Here, I have weight, and there I have the force of spring. Always force of spring is against to the displacement. I do this displacement in this direction, but the force of the spring. If I do like this, so I will get harmonic motion. Repeat itself with a specific time. Let me check the hook slope. He said F is proportional with, with the force. So this is 100, give me this indication actually this it's 5 cm, 5 cm, 5 cm, 5 cm. So this is 100 gram. Okay, now I'll put 200 gram. Oh, this is just to keep in mind. This is 100 gram. It's almost here. Okay, and 200 gram. Oh, it's give me about 10 centimeter. It's nice. Okay, let me check the 300 gram. This is 300 gram. Nice. It's give me another 10 centimeter. So 400 gram. Okay. Oh, it's give me 40 centimeters, and so on. F is a proportional with X, but in the opposite direction. That's why I put this minus. Okay, and this is actually Hooke's law. It's very important. No, it's Hooke's law. Sometimes we name this experiment as Hooke's law. Okay. Anyway, so here I have some constant, and this constant is equal what? It's k, and we name this, this constant as supreme constant, because this is coming from the spring, so this constant related to the spring, so this is supreme constant. k, what's the unit of k? is a newton per meter. So the unit of k is a newton per meter. Now, if I this is the equilibrium point. If I make this, so I have what? I have harmonic motion. The omega mean the angular frequency, and this is equal to 2 pi over t, and this is the period. This is angular frequency, angular frequency, and this is the period. It's very important. And this is equal, 1 over t is equal f, so this is equal 2 pi f. This is omega, and its relation with this, and its relation with this, the general formation for any harmonic motion. This m represents the hung m plus the effective, effective uh, mass of the spring. This is constant because this property of the spring, this is constant because property of the spring. So I can write my equation like t squared is equal 4 pi squared over k m capital plus m small. And this gives me equation of straight line. Actually it's not through origin because I have plus here. In the excerpt, actually, I have two graphs. And we get some points, readings, and then we get the straight line. Okay, this straight line will give you the equation of y is equal ax plus b. So as you see here, 4 pi squared over k is equal a, so k in this case will equal 4 pi squared 
divide on the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x represent the slope. Okay? And as you see here, 4 pi squared over k mean a, a m naught is equal b. Here, a m naught is equal b. So I can say m naught is equal b over a. So this is from x. Get this from x or get this. So this is what we, this is how to find supply experiment. Point 0.1 kilogram is 100 uh, grams of this 0.1 kilogram. So I will do not make don't make very high amplitude because there's not there is no effect for the amplitude on the oscillation time. So I will make very small one and start at this point. So let's start now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is 13. Exactly. Don't know why. Let's start again. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is 13.07. Again. Now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, What I have in conclusion, I have in conclusion, I got the power. Power is 0.48 with 4% error. So I satisfy the equation, almost the equation. constant. 